Hi, welcome at this session on Red Server Authentication and Authorization. We'll use the embedded basic authentication in Red Server with users and groups and add some authorization in the EMS Server INI. Now by default Red Server is unsecured after its installation, so you really need to perform these steps to add security. One of the things you need to do first, however, is enable HTTPS, so the basic authentication which requires you to send a username and password over HTTP is actually encrypted and is sent over HTTPS. Red server authentication is stored in an encrypted interbase database and allows you to locally manage users and groups. You can optionally also use external LDAP or even Active Directory or OAuth if you want to. And Red server has embedded statistics in the EMS console where you can see user activity and REST endpoint statistics. Let's take a look at a VPS server in the cloud and connect to it. The default server is public and we've installed a package, a key value package on this server. So we can actually request data from a key value store. Let's use the external URL for DelphiAcademy.nl and make sure that we can actually request a key value list from the EMS server DLL. And that works. Now we'll modify the uh, configuration from a public one into a secure one using the EMS server.ini that we need to copy to downloads in order to modify it. And in that EMS server the, uh, INI we'll change the server authorization setting. Each resource by default is all public. So we need to make sure that the key value resource in this server is set to public false. Now if you were to do this you wouldn't have any access so we need to make sure that we add users that are actually allowed to access the key value resource. In this case all users are allowed. And those users are defined in the EMS dev console or in the EMS server IB database. Okay let's copy that over into EMS server INI in the, in the IIS route. There we go. Now we need to recycle IIS and that would reload the EMS server settings and it's running on the default app pool, recycle that and if we now request the data we get an error that it's not authorized. On the client side we need to make a modification and enable authentication. So in the red server client that we created earlier I'll add a checkbox and that checkbox will be linked to enabling a login or a logout. So if you're authenticated or we authenticate. And the authentication is going to use the backend authentication component. So the backend out. Backend out is actually between the connection, the EMS provider connection and the backend point. So each backend point you need to connect each backend point to that backend out but the backend out by default is already connected to the EMS provider. So set the authentication of both backend point and then in an on-click of the checkbox I'm going to actually log in to the backend and that's backend out. I'm using the uh, default users here so the username is test and the uh, backend out password it's just test pass. You should probably change those as well if you want to make sure that your uh, red server is secure. And there are a number of those accounts uh, present. Uh, one of them is in the EMS console, which is console user. Please change that one as well. So if it's not a backend out logged in, if it's not logged in, then we're going to log in using test and test pass. And if we are logged in, then just log out. After running it, I'm going to try to access it without authentication. So I'll log out here and just run it. And the one without authentication will yield zero results because I haven't made any error handling. And indeed, it does not yield a result. Now, after I authenticate, I do get the result back. So it works as it should. Each of these login attempts is actually logged in EMS server, in Red server. So if you go to EMS console instead of go to EMS server, 
and I've installed EMS console here in EMS console slash EMS console.dll. You'll need to log in. The default user is console user. And I've changed the default password, uh, which you should as well. And after you log in, you can actually see the total amount of users that have been using your REST endpoints and how many API calls have been made. And total users, you'll see the uh, nice statistics overview, as well as which users are defined. You cannot define users here, but you can just view them. Uh, defining users is done with the EMS Dev Console, which is a VCL application. Let's take another look at the EMS Server INI and make it even more secure. There are a number of settings that are of interest. Uh, so in the WW root, let's copy the uh, EMS Server INI over to download so that we can edit it. Replace it. And in the EMS Server INI, in the backup folder, I've got a template that has some authentication settings. One of them is the master secret, which is kind of like a backdoor into your red server. It overrides any authentication or authorization that you may set in the EMS server. And in server.authorization, I've made some default settings here for version and user and install location and stuff like that. And they're all resource endpoints, REST endpoints that you should make sure of that they are secured. So just replace that in the EMS server INI and copy that over into the EMS server directory. Now the uh, file, the EMS server INI and all the downloads are available here.